Hello everybody and welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk! Today I don't exactly know what we're gonna do, which is pretty common. Um, Clover's right here. Hmm. Well, I still really want to write a letter for Camofrog. Problem with that is I keep forgetting to- These flowers just do not want to grow. They just don't- Okay. Well, they can stay like that, though. They can stay just the four flowers forever until one of them dies. Ungrateful flowers not growing for us. Just taking a peek around for fossils. Um... Oh, nothing on the bulletin board. Hmm. Kind of weird. I, I think I missed these flowers. I should just always water things from the top. Because it's much easier for me to tell where I'm watering than if I've watered something from the top. <laughs> now, I am recording kind of early in the day. And that's kind of twofold. One, I just kind of woke up about two hours ago at this point. Hey, let me rock right away. And just couldn't fall back asleep, even though I didn't even get to sleep till like 2 a.m. Um, so that's great. Yeah, you know, just randomly waking up and not being able to get back to sleep is always good and preferable. Um, sarcasm. Uh, <laughs> But, and on top of that, um, we have company coming over at some point today, and staying for some amount of time, and I have no idea what that bug just was. I think it was probably a ladybug on the red flower. I hope it was. I hope it wasn't a tree-bound insect that I just scared off. I should actually start watching the trees, because there are tree-bound insects. Um... I suppose we could always try catching bees again, but I'd want to put all my tools away for that. Um, we should also probably try um, looking for ocean fish. Because I'm positive there will be more ocean fish that we don't have yet. We just, you know, haven't seen them yet. Oh, this is a beard. You could have a beard. But that would, that would get rid of the beak. It's... Um, what is this? Noble shirt. Mm, it won't really match the green hat. And there really isn't a better hat. Hey, Sable. Welcome, Steven. It's Monday today, so here's to another week. Steven, what kind of clothes do you like? White and green gingham plaid, of course. Uh, that the Mabel special. I actually like that. I also like the pink. I like all kinds of plaid. So, you know. I I'm kind of weird like that. <laughs> I mean, I literally have a shirt that basically just looks like it's a tablecloth that got wrapped around and turned into a shirt. Uh, it's a button-up shirt, too. So it's attempting to be a bit classy, but it's it's really not. I just, I just like wearing it. Okay, well, that's not our... There's our watering can. It's the opposite way it was before. Whoops. There we go. It says I should always just water from above. Doesn't. There we go. Gotta keep the flowers from wilting. They seem to just grow on their own, so that's kind of convenient. Um, 
I'll check out nooks in a little bit. I just want to do a little wander around first. Oh, there's a dig spot. Wrong way. Fossil! Well, there's our daily fossil. And it was in front of Mott's house. So I guess Moss... Moss. Yes, his name is Moss now. I guess Mott um, buried a fossil there for us to find. I thought a nook buried it there, hoping Mott would find it. And then, you know, sell it to him. Because that just seems to be Nook's thing. Wow, there were two mantises there. I probably just saved one from death then, because it was probably a male and a female. <laughs> Let's do a little wander down through here. Hmm. Really hopeful that we might get a second fossil. Like, that, that would be pretty neat. But I doubt it's gonna happen. Okay. Doesn't seem like we're gonna get a second fossil today. Well, let's run up to uh, Nooks. Oh, wilting flowers. I, I missed. Yeah, Gabby's right over here. We might as well talk with her. We haven't really talked with her much lately. Hey, Gabby. Woohoo, Steven. Hey, Steven, guess what? You can totally opt out of getting those Happy Room Academy letters. They are making my mailbox all cloggy, so I had to quit getting them. It's like a lifesaver. Oh, I, I never really had a problem with those letters, because they only send one a week. Hey, it's, uh, 10 o'clock. Or 9.58 in reality, because for some reason the Wii keeps getting faster and faster in time. Um, I had it set, like, right initially. It was, like, right on, and the Wii's just slowly getting desynced on time. Oh, sell the clownfish. 650 bells. A good little chunk of money. What are the turn prices? 76. Okay. That's not a horrible price. Do we... It's a silver bug net. Yeah, I will buy it. Yes, I know how to use the silver net, Nook. I... I do know. I have a regular net. It's... It works the same, except this is just, I believe, a bigger net. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. That's really dry. Well, let's just set that in the letter from Gladys. So that way we still have four spots to buy the flowers with. White Cosmos, I'll take it. Yellow tulips, I'll take them. White pansies. You know, I'm half expecting at some point the the YouTube, you know, bots to can't take me saying pansies, meaning the flowers, and like deem it un you know monetizable because I said the word pansy. Where that became an insult. And, you know. Monetize, advertisers don't like insults. Except when they're flinging mud at each other. Um, they, they love insults then, but, you know. Let's plant these flowers right here. Um, whoops. Let's get swapped over to that bug net. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, it's basically just a bigger bug net. 
which is pretty neat. Not catching you in this mole cricket. I'm gonna see if I can find some butterflies to catch. Or just really any bugs in general to catch. Oh! I was just mentioning this yesterday! Coconut! Yeah, with the coconut, and I already know how to do this. Yeah, I should just switch this way. Uh, we need to get our shovel out. Let's dig a hole right here. And now that should start growing. And it'll give us more coconuts. So that's good. We'll have coconuts now. So we have another exotic fruit in the town. The one lonely flower. Of course, now that we have the silver bug net, it seems like bugs are just deciding to not show up. Rather than showing up all the time like they normally do. Now, I have to wonder, was this bit of this always here? Or was this one of the first games that introduced animal tracks? Which is basically the grass wearing down where people run or walk too often. I think I hear a present. Yep. Alright, it's just up here. Ah! Got it! And this is... A Koopa Shell! Cool! I like Koopa Shells. Hey, Benedict. There are like no bugs around now. Oh, there's a butterfly. And I missed. Got it! Aha! I mean, we're just gonna be selling it because we already have the common butterfly in the museum. But I mean, you may as well catch it. It's another butterfly. I got it too. Tiger butterfly. Oops. Whoops. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bree. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bree. Squee, you're a morning person, aren't you? You always seem so vivid. If you want to get the scoop on anything major going on in town, be sure to talk to the gatekeepers. They always know who's coming and going, cheese ball. Let me say, let me save you the trouble. There's nothing huge going on right now. I just spoke with them. Oh no, we... And that is why I never keep the bug net out. Oh, I feel horrible now. I say that and I'm going to dig it back out to catch this butterfly if I can. There we go. I think that should fill up my inventory. So let's just head into nooks and sell things and then only dig out the butter the bug net if we want to actually catch a bug. Uh, she wanted something and I just bapped her on the head instead. Uh, I feel so bad. Four hundred ten bells, okay. May maybe she'll want whatever she wanted again because we've gone into somewhere. No. Well, now I feel even worse. All because of the bug net and me not really being able to tell how close I am to a villager. Even though I think I was already in talking range. It just swung the bug net instead of talking. Because that's kind of the problem with having them both be the same button. And donation, blathers. Maybe this will help me feel a little better if we get something new. At least improve the museum. 
Please identify it, buddy. Apache skull. That goes into the collection. It'd be splendid to have the other parts. Well, let's come have our coffee, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'll have the usual. That'll do fine. You know, because I feel bad, and I'm going to use this as an excuse to help the town. We're going to go to Town Hall after this. Um, strong and full-bodied. It's like I'm in some sort of crazy dream. And that or you just drank a person. You know, just a bodybuilder. Just a full bodybuilder. Um, because that would be strong and full-bodied. Yeah, we're we're gonna head off to town hall, because I I'm I'm gonna do a thing now in honor of Bree for accidentally hitting her with the bug net. Oh yeah, it's a ladybug. Okay. Pop into here. Town fund. All the money we have on us. It's just go into the town. And that that's as an apology to Bree. Hopefully it actually accomplishes something. Uh, okay, people are still not happy. Hmm. What, what more do you want from these, me, people? I, you know, I think I'm actually going to... I think I have some money in here. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. I'm gonna get, like, 800 back out. That way we have, we have a tiny amount of spending money. Should tell, we should tell you we're not going to the town today. Uh, <laughs> we're into the city uh, at some point tomorrow or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm yawning. Benedict doesn't want anything. Word is probably spreading around town about how just I'm a monster. I should look up when, what game Animal Tracks were first added in. Which, as I explained, Animal Tracks are basically just the grass wearing away where people often walk, like people and animals. So, like, eventually, in the games with Animal Tracks, which uh, New Leaf is actually one of them, if you play long enough, your town will just become dirt. Like, all of the grass will end up wearing away. And it's kind of sad. I still think it could happen in New Leaf. I suppose that entirely is just all in theory, because I don't know a whole lot about animal tracks. I'm just trying to remember if like stuff like this existed before or not. Because it's kind of ugly. It makes me, if, you know, animal tracks are a thing, it kind of makes me regret taking this house. Because then there will almost probably never be grass in front of our house. Oh, excuse me. Well, let's head inside. We have a bit of spending money, which I'm probably going to, on my own time later, actually get around to, um, um, words, they're failing me. Uh, getting some paper to write the letter for, uh, Camafrog. Yeah, I think just so everything's not blocking something, I'm gonna... There we go. 
I wish this couch was like three long so that we could uh, set the cat in like the direct center middle. But it's only too long. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. So, I thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next time for more Animal Crossing City Folk. See you all then.